Here we have one of our best-selling games, Shut the Box. There are different variations of this. We have three different colors as well, a red, blue, and green felt. This is a, uh, a fun game for groups, has some educational benefits, and it travels well. Those are the three points I try to mention when I give a demo. If you've got someone around looking at the games, I will often ask, hey, do you have time for a demo? And if they do, I will grab the dice and I will throw them. So we've got two sixes here. So I will explain in this game you can use adding or multiplying. If you have young kids you might consider just using addition but if they're older adding and multiplying gives more options. So if I roll a six and a six that's a great roll. If I add I can take a 12 off the board. If I multiply six times six, 36. I could take any number here that adds, any combination of numbers that add up to 36. For example, 11, 10, nine, that makes 30, and then I can take six off. As long as I can flip up the tiles for my, my roll, I get to continue rolling. My turn goes on. The goal, of course, is to flip all these up on my turn. This is what I show the customer when they when they come up. And this is what I recommend you do as well. So I've got a six and a two. I could take eight off if I'm adding, or better yet, six times two is twelve. Let's get that twelve off so it doesn't count against us later. Five plus five is ten. For simplicity, let's take off eight plus two. And you might even point out to the customer, I could have done seven plus three, because that's also available. In fact, we'll just leave that there. Alright, six and four, that is ten. Let's just go ahead and take off. Well, I could go out here, um, actually. Oh, no, I can't. I'm thinking of a different number. Sure. Let's just take 10 off. 8 and 2. And then I roll again. And I've got 6 and 2. Adds up to 8. I cannot get to 8. 6 times 2 multiplies to 12. I cannot get to 12. So actually, my turn's over. I'm stuck here. Whatever's left on the board, you take the sum. It's 10 in this case. That's my score. So I'd write 10 down, reset the board, pass it to the next player. Now then, again, the three things I like to stress on this game. Number one, there is some educational benefit. If they have children with them of any age, uh, over about five, I will roll the dice and ask the child, hey, what's three plus four? Or if they're a little bit older, what's three times four? And you can tell right away if the, if the kid's good at math or not. And uh, sometimes that can be a selling point. I do mention the portability of this. This is a game, since it has its own board and nice place to roll the dice, to be honest. They're not flying off the table. You could play this in the back of a vehicle on a long trip. One player takes his or her turn, passes the board to the next player. So there's education, there's travel. And the other great selling point to mention is that this is a unlimited multiplayer game. A lot of board games are limited to two or maybe four players. This one you could play even by yourself, I suppose, but it's great for two people, three, five, seven, 11, 27. It doesn't matter how many people you have. You got a big family, got a big group gathering, and there are variations described on the back with the instructions. Let's say you determine ahead of time that you're gonna play the game till 100 points. So that first round I had a 10. And I'm going to do another run really fast here and, and try to get the customer if they have time. Say, go ahead, see if you can beat my score. So let's pretend the customer is going here. Two plus one, three. Low roll, rolls are kind of bad to start with. Five plus one, let's do six. Six and three is nine, or we can take 18 off if we multiply. Let's go ahead and take off 11 plus seven for 18. Four and four makes eight, or rather, four times four is 16. Let's do 12 plus four is 16. All right, hey, let's definitely multiply here if we can. Uh, five times five, 25. Lots of combinations here for someone to add and check as they go. So let's get to 25. 10 and eight is 18, plus two is 20, plus five is 25. So right now I have 10 left, so let's see if I can beat it. I might tie the other score, we'll see. Look at that, a lucky roll. Two times five is 10, nine plus one is 10. That's called shutting the box, a score of zero. That's the best, like golf, lowest score wins. So if we were keeping a cumulative tally, the first player had a score of 10, the second player had a score of zero. You could go back to the first player or onto the third player if there was one. But if you're tallying scores, once the cumulative score over multiple rounds for a single person exceeds 100 points, for example, that person would be eliminated from the game. Lots of fun. 
700 year old history. It's an old sailor gambling game, but I like to tell people you can enjoy it whether or not you're a sailor or whether or not you gamble. Shut the box.